Hello. This tutorial will go through using full screen in Lion with Scrivener version 2.1, whilst also briefly touching on Scrivener's layouts feature. The first point to mention is that Scrivener's full screen mode has been renamed Composition Mode to accommodate Lion's new full screen capabilities. We can still enter Scrivener's old full screen mode by either going to View, Enter Composition Mode, or by pressing the Compose icon in the toolbar. The same name convention changes have also been made in Scrivener's preferences, with Compose taking the place of Full Screen. Using View, Enter Full Screen will do exactly the same as pressing these two arrows here, taking Scrivener into Lion's Full Screen mode. You will notice that the Editor Text area is centered by default, otherwise it could be really wide if you're going into Full Screen mode on a wide screen. If I go to Preferences Editor, you will see that I have three tick options Used Fixed Width, Center, and Full Screen Only. If I deselect Use Fixed Width, you will see that the editor now takes up all the screen real estate available. I can obviously check the option again and change the editor width if I like. If I now come out of Full Screen mode, you can see that I can actually impose this editor width in normal mode by unticking the Full Screen Only option. Going back into full screen mode, you can see this gives me plenty of room to open some quick reference panels if I like. If yours happen to disappear once you click in the editor like mine did, simply go to Window, Float Quick Reference Panels. I really like having the ability to have a few quick reference panels open while working in the editor. You will probably have noticed that the Scrivener toolbar is still available to me in full screen mode. If you want to change this behavior and auto hide the toolbar, go to Preferences, Appearance, and select the Always Auto Hide toolbar in full screen mode. As you can see, Scrivener's toolbar now hides until requested. Another option in Appearance is to use different colors in full screen. If I tick the option, I get a new customizable colors choice called Full Screen. I can now go through and change the colors of every parameter in full screen mode if I want to. By default, they are set to a muted gray. Note how the appearance of Scrivener's whole interface changes as I go in and out of full screen mode. As we love appearance options, there is another tick box you can select titled Use Dark Gray Theme. This will immediately affect the inspector's appearance, whatever the mode. If I only want to use this theme in full screen mode, I can select this option too. Do note that these are only default options. You can tailor full screen mode to look exactly as you like. Another Scrivener feature connected to full screen mode is layouts. If I click on the relevant toolbar icon or go to window layouts, I will open the feature. This allows me to save any particular layout of Scrivener. If I close the inspector in this particular project and decide that I like the layout, I can save it. I will name it binder and editor. I can now impose this layout on any Scrivener project that I want to. Let me briefly open another Scrivener project and show you what I mean. Now, layouts have been expanded to include full screen mode. If I happen to create a corkboard layout whilst in full screen mode, the layout is saved with those two telltale opposing arrows indicating that selecting this layout will immediately take me into full screen mode. I will select another Scrivener project that has yet to have a layout applied. If I go into full screen mode using a layout, Scrivener will remember what setup I had before entering full screen and take me back when I come out of the mode. OK, I think that concludes our taking advantage of Lion's full screen mode with Scrivener tutorial. I hope you like the preference options and what we have done to embrace this feature. Thanks for watching.